to create your stamp for your postcard, you're going to use Paint. So if you click on Start, you should see Paint listed on the bottom there, and it's going to open up. If it opens up with a very small canvas, like mine actually did before, just put your mouse on the corner here and drag out. Okay, and you'll have a bigger canvas. You can see the numbers changing down here. That is the size of your canvas. We're not going to need the whole thing. We're going to crop out what we need after, but it's easier to work in a bigger surface area. So I'm going to put in a box. I'm going to change my color. You could choose whatever you want. Let's say this time I'm going to do orange. This would be my outline color, and my color two is my fill color. I have to make sure that my outline is set to solid color and my fill is set to solid color. Then when I click and drag, let's try that again. When I click and drag, I have my filled in square. Now, depending on what you want to put, you're going to use different shapes or different tools. Maybe for my example, I put in a sun. So I would change my colors here to orange, and I clicked and dragged, and I created a sun. Then I wanted to put the rays of the sun. So I switched to the pencil tool. I left it yellow, and I just drew what I wanted. Okay? And then, if you want to use a line, any of these tools, you can play with the tools. And when I got, when it was time to write, I changed my pencil to be a little bit thicker. And I actually, I changed my line to black, and I wrote, Peru. Okay, it's a little hard to write with a mouse, but you can do the best that you can. And once you have your stamp completed, we need to crop out, to cut out all the white and just have our stamp. So you're going to click on select. I'm going to click and drag just around my square. And then to tell the computer this is what I want, you're going to click on crop. Now I have just my picture. I'm going to click on file, save as. It's going to go into my picture, so I'm going to, like before, I saved it as Peru Stamp. I'll put a 2 here. You can leave it as PNG, or you can switch it to a JPEG, either one, it doesn't matter, and click on Save. Then you'll be able to insert it into your document.